Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today I am going to be turning a handle out of some Wenge and some recycled skateboard. So first I want to get these pieces flattened as much as possible. These are just a couple of those odd ends of the laminate for skateboards where they just are curved on one side, they're flat on another, they're not really going to go anywhere flat unless I force them with the belt sander. So let's do that first. So next up I need to prepare the wenge, which is the bulk of the handle. And what I want to do is showcase the skateboard basically in the center instead of just gluing it to the end. And I also don't want it just to be straight, you know, perpendicular to the handle. So I'm going to be using my miter saw to cut a 15 degree slice just off center and then these will glue nicely in there at an angle so when it's turned it'll be super interesting. Okay, so I've got the wenge cut and I have the recycled skateboard sanded down. The next step is to put them together. And basically, like I said, it's gonna be sandwiched in here so that the skateboard is at an angle. It'll just look nice once it's turned round. So I need to glue these up and then it's time to turn. Let's do a little glue. Oh no, that's not working the way I thought it would. Uh, hmm. Looks like I just get to hold this for I don't know how long. That backfired. Maybe I should have glued the skateboard to one part of Wenge first and then the other but I don't want to spend time doing that. Good? I'm super confident. <laughs> Oh, 
I got so excited about making sure I had this just the right diameter to match the chrome piece that's going to go in. I parted it off before I put finish on it. <laughs> oh, what do I do now? Okay. Since I decided to part this off before I put finish on it, I was planning on doing a CA finish. I really don't feel like monkeying with that off the lathe. That just seems like a bad idea. But it does give me an excuse to try a new type of finish. And that's some Danish oil. Let's give it a go. I feel like since this is an oil, and it could get messy, I'm gonna use some gloves. And shake container thoroughly. Okay. I would say that's pretty thorough. Flood surface using brush or cloth. And... Ooh. Do I want to use paper towel? Or do I want to use a rag? I'm going to do... Piece of an old t shirt. Cool. Okay. Just gonna lay the rest of this t shirt down. Wipe it on. Hello. That looks pretty darn good, I'll say. It smells weird, but looks good. <clears throat> and oh, look at that. I don't even need to do that. I meant to do that. Hey Siri, set timer 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes and counting. Yeah. Okay, so now that I've got a few coats of the Danish oil on here, um, it does feel nice. I'll have to experiment more with that and maybe Wenge just isn't the best wood to do that because it is really porous, uh, or the, the pores are large. And so even after sanding it a bit, it, uh, it still is kind of rough, but it's pretty good. Now I need to get the hole drilled for the insert. So I can put this in here, and I'm going to go to my drill press for that but I don't want to just, I don't think I can hold it like that to drill it. So I'm going to get a clamp prepared and I'll put a little electric tape on here. Electric tape, electrical tape. Wow, electric tape would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, this should be good. All right, Let's see if this works. Okay, I have it glued up. I've got it wiped down. 
I'd realized I don't have any rubber bands anywhere in the house. I feel like every house has just a drawer full of rubber bands, but not ours. So I just use this clamp to put some pressure on it. And now I'll just wait for it to dry. And we'll be ready to pop some bottles. The project is done. We have a bottle opener. It works. It looks pretty cool. I'm not going to say it's my favorite project I've done so far. Um, if I wasn't a bonehead for turning it off the lathe before I finished it, it would have turned out a lot differently. I ended up using the Danish oil as a finish, but I will say that if I had planned on using it for finish, I would have chosen a different wood on the ends. Wenge is just really coarse, even when you sand it down. The pores and the cracks that just come with that are so big. No matter what you do, I feel like I couldn't get a really good smooth finish. And also when I'm wiping it off, it just grabs onto anything that I use to try and clean it. So even trying to take pictures, I was trying to pick little pieces off of it, and you know, there's cloth or there's paper towels. It looks really good. I would have sealed it differently, but it is a success. Uh, it actually came out with this cool bottle shape. I didn't really plan on doing that until I was ready to part it off. So I thought that was kind of a cool little shape for what it's used for. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you wouldn't mind giving it a like and maybe share it with someone that might like it too. Until next time. sandwiched in here. Excuse me. The nerve. Somebody driving down a street. Practicing air raids now?